Hello and welcome to Roshi's Features. Today's video is going to be another skin cover video and today's skin will be a Marnie. Let's get into this video. This video is going to be another skin cover video and today's skin will be a Marnie, which is the second skin in the chapter 4 season 2 battle pass. I currently have two of the edit styles unlocked, which is a standard style, which is a Marnie, and then the future fight a Marnie. To unlock the headline of a Marnie, you need to do 13 challenges from the weekly quest, this 0-2 um, I'm pretty sure. Complete this season's, this season's quest week. 0-2, 0 out of 13, so you need to do 13 of those, which is fine. So when I do unlock that, I'll eventually get the combo done for that. But let's get into the first one. The back bling I decided to use for the first combo was the Dimensional Gate from Chapter 2, Season 6, which is part of the Teen Titan set. And it's Rebirth Raven's back bling from that season. I find it goes very nice with the purple of her hair and her jacket. Pickaxe I decided to use was a Tat Axe. And I got this axe in a bundle, which had the Love Heart. The stone heart and this pickaxe. I think it maybe had an email as well, and I got it for pretty cheap. I think I got it for six hundred for the stone heart and the tat axe because I had already owned love, the love ranger. So I thought, why not pick it up? And I do like it quite a lot. Glider. I just decided to use was the needle dropper, which is Amani's glider, which I would be using the Victor Al glider, but I haven't actually played any games. I've just been pretty busy since since the season came out. So I've got the combos done. I've been getting the combos done, but I haven't maybe had time to play. So that's why I'm using the glider that is basically Amani's glider. Contra I'm using is Renzo Velocity, which I don't think I have another Contra, do I? No, this is the only one I have from this season, so that's why I decided to whack it on. And the wrapper decided to use, which is Amani's wrap, which is the All Nighter. Let's move on to the second combo. I decided to use the Whirl, the Whirl, the Whirl, the Whirl, the Whirl, yeah, the Whirl Berry, part of the Anime Legend set, introduced in Chapter 3, Season 4. So I decided to whack it on, so I find it goes very nicely with this skin. Pickaxe is a Blazeberry Blade, which is also part of the Anime Legend set. And the wrap I'm using is Orissa's Crest from Chapter 3, Season 2, part of the Wish Guardian set. I mainly use this for like a cel-shaded look. Let's move on to the third combo. I decided to use the Season Signature back bling, and I'm using the Memory X style. Pickaxe is the Destroyer's Destroyer which is part of the Catalysm 2.0 set, and is Renzo the Destroyer's pickaxe, and the wrapper decided to use the Destroyer's signature, which is Renzo the Destroyer's weapon wrap, and I'm pretty sure the skins which you get this, you can buy this, the background I'm using is currently in the art shop, there you go, the season signature is actually in the art shop, now if you do want to buy it, I do like these skins a lot, the ones with the squad origin styles for every season in chapter 1, it'd be cool for them to do it for chapter 2, and chapter 3 as well, it'd be pretty you need to have like one for each chapter, it'd be pretty cool. But either way, if you do want to buy the season signature, it is in the arm shop now. And it is only 400 V-Bucks, you get 10 edit styles, which is pretty cool. Let's move on to the next combo. I decided to use a logo, a go go, and I'm just using the standard Fortnite style, just for the purple. Pickaxe is the Omni Sword, I haven't used this in a while, so I thought, why not whack this on? And this is part of the Kata, Kata Tech set, introduced in Chapter 3, Season 2. The style or the setup I'm using is top blade hyper strike, guard ceremonial, bottom blade hyper strike. Pickaxe type is single wield, but obviously with the Omni Sword, you can use the emote to change your dual wield, single wield, you know, in game whenever you want. And with the design itself, you can use whatever design you like. Color I decided to use is ultraviolet. You can use the amethyst instead, but I find the ultraviolet works better. And the hand style I decided to go for is Dazzling Spirit. And then the sound is Jagged Power, but similar to the design, you can use whatever you like. If it's obviously whatever sound you prefer, but I do like Jagged Power the best. And the wrapper decided to use was Circuitry, which is from Chapter 4, Season 1, and you got it for doing the like, decrypting challenges. Basically, at the end of last season, Chapter 4, Season 1, you had like three challenges to do. You have to go around the map to like, different areas and get them done. So if you've done that, you'd have this. Wrapper wrapper is pretty cool. It does go very nicely with the Amani skin. Let's go on to the next combo, which is the last Amani edit style combo. Back bling I'm using is Love Lock, and this is from Chapter 3, Season 2, part of the Wish Garden set. I'm using the Love Lock style for the mainly for the pink, to be honest. Pickaxe is the Guardian Daggers, also part of the Wish Garden set, introduced obviously in the same season as the Back Bling. And the wrapper decided to use is Buttoned Up, which is Lennox, Lennox Rose's weapon wrap, and was introduced in Chapter 3, Season 4, so I just decided to back this on for like a cell shaded look mainly. Let's move on to the next combo. Which is the second edit style and is the Future Fi Amani. Back I'm using is Hurricane, which is Hurricane's backbring, introduced in Chapter 2, Season 7. Pickaxe is the Hand of Lightning from Chapter 2, Season 4, part of the Storm set, basically Storm's Pickaxe from that season. 
But if you don't have this and you do want to style the Phantasmic Pulse to say maybe be like um, black and blue, that would work pretty nice. Or just go fully blue. That would also work nicely if you don't have the Hand of Lightning. And the wrapper I decided to use is Ripley from Chapter 2, Season 1. Season 1's Battle Pass, part of the Slurp Squad set. I really do like this a lot. It does go very nicely with this Future Fight Amani edit style. Let's move on to the next combo. I decided to whack on the Shattered Wing for the blue. Pickaxe is Electric Crescent, which is Flakes, Flakes Power's Pickaxe. I guess you could get away with using the Phantom Power style, but I decided to stick the, ele the Electric Crescent for the blue. And the wrap I decided to use, I have not changed this wrap, so I just need to quickly change it. <laughs> Oh, there is. That's what I'm looking for. Polished Stone from the Chapter 3, Season 3 Battle Pass. I do like this one a lot. This was the one I was supposed to use, but I just completely forgot to change the combo. Wait, which one was that? It was this one here. Let's quickly save it. Let's move on to the next combo. I decided to go for like a purple theme combo for this one. The backlink I'm using is the Badge of Glory, which is newest FNCS backlink I do own. It's from, oh, we got from Chapter 4, Season 1. It's a Twitch Prime rule. Twitch Prime not Twitch Prime, sorry, Twitch. Just watching Twitch Reward. You had to watch 30 minutes, I'm pretty sure, of um, the FNCS when it was on. Pickaxe and using the Black Star Edge, which is part of the Celestial Guard set in Shooting Chapter 4, Season 1. It's basically the level up crest pack from last season. And the wrap I'm using is Post That, which is a post party weapon wrap. Let's move on to the second last combo. I decided to use the Hollow Back, and I'm using the Sticker Blue 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 Psych. Blue yeah, I think it's blue cyclo. I think it's a cyclo, and um, I'm pretty sure this back this sticker is from getting the superhero skins or getting one of the superhero skins. I know different superhero skins you bought got different stickers, so it's either the Backlash or the Mighty Vault. That's the two I own, so I'm not exactly sure which one it came with. But either way, I decided to use it for the blue pickaxe, the Lunar Defender from Chapter Three, Season Four, and the weapon wrap I decided to go with is Proto Wave, which is an item shop wrap part of the machine learning set, which is basically a glitch and errant set. So it would be just, it would have been in the item shop at the same time the glitch and the errant skin were in the item shop, but they seem to come back quite often. So it will, will be there most likely when those skins come back. Let's move on to the last combo. I decided to use the birthstone backplate. I really do like this. Lot. I really do highly rate this. It's got so many different combos or colours you can use to combo with different skins. The colour I decided to go for for this combo was sapphire. Pickaxe, it's a Phantasmic Pulse, and I've decided to go for the style Cosmic Edge, the primary colour blue, and then the second colour blue. I find this works very nicely. And the wrap I decided to use was Warp Field, which is from Chapter 2, Season 5. I'm pretty sure this was a quest reward, but I'm not 100% sure. I mainly use this for all the different colours, the blue, the black, the white, because it goes very nicely with the style. So obviously she's got blue, she's got black, she's got yellow. She's got white, so it actually does work very nicely. So that's all the 10 skin combos done for the Amani skin. I really do like the skin a lot. And once, uh, as I did mention at the start of the video, once I do unlock the headliner Amani skin, I'll be getting that done. And the next skin in the Battle Pass for me to unlock would be the this guy here, which is Thunder. So once I unlock him, I'll probably do what I've done with the this combo, this this combo video and the Renzo. I'll wait until I get two edit styles and make combos for two base instead of just doing one. But yeah, so if there is any specific cosmetics from this season, you'd like to see it could be, you know, a skin, could be a back thing, pickaxe, glider, contra, even wrap, or any other skins, you know, previous ones with previous backpacks or item drop, feel free to whack them in, in the comments below. I'm always down to you know, do any suggestions that I do get. But anyways, that was pretty decent.